Okay, Steve's now padded for a sugar tongue splint, which we're gonna do. Sugar tongue, same thing. You wanna always go past the wrist and that's gonna come down and around the elbow and it's gonna be hopefully the same length on the back side. So it's gonna be just as high on the back of the wrist as it will be on the front. The, the, the biggest majority for the sugar tongue is just to give stability to both sides. Um, and your doc will let you know when they want this to be done. You can also do the same sugar tongue um, on the humerus as well. So just because we're doing it on the forearm doesn't mean we can just reverse it and have it be up this way as well. So once you have it in place, you've wetted it, you've padded everything, especially putting extra padding around the fracture site, you're gonna come in here and do the same thing with your ace wrap, getting it nice and tight. The hardest part about this one is usually it gets kind of cramped towards the elbow. So kind of using your molding skills to try to not make the, I'll have you lift up just a little bit, trying to not make the orthoglass so um, incredibly pointy, I guess you'd say, once we get down here. A lot of times you have to use more than one ace wrap just because it gets so, Fine. And you'll notice I kind of wrap a little bit up past the elbow as well. Just even though we're not the orthoglass isn't there, just easier to pad from and make sure everything's covered. So you see here, I'm kind of pulling nice and tight right here, because otherwise these little points kind of stick out, and it just people get annoyed by them. So when you pull nice and tight, it starts to flatten the orthoglass a little bit and you can kind of get in there and shape it with your fingers and your hands afterwards as well. So same principles go for all the other splints. Once you have it wrapped and it's where it's secured where you want it, you're gonna go back through and mold it again with your hands paying extra special attention to molding it at the site of the fracture so it's in proper positioning.